Is that the shop where Love Day worked? Yeah, that's the one. Who's that by the van? That's Gregson, the youngest one there. He's the only one in need of an alibi. Gregson? Associated with Love Day. The cemetery bloke saw him giving her a lift home one night. And one of the reps reckons he used to chat her up in the shop. Well, that's a bit sad, isn't it? So was his alibi. He reckons he was in the crown, not in the hill. That's a villain's pub. That's Baker. The inspector your inspector's on secondment to. Yeah, put him through the mill, all right. Tell him a thing or two, like his father should have done years ago. Has Gregson got a record, then? He's vicious. Like most of the young today. <laughs> This is the continuation of an interview with Brian Gregson. The interview was interrupted when Detective Inspector Baker was called away to deal with other matters. I am DCI Wexford, and the time is 10.15. So Harry Slade is providing your alibi. Everybody knows he provides alibis for villains. Can't you find somebody better to vouch for you? This uh, phone call that you received, Mrs. Kirby, who was it from? Come on. The sooner you answer these questions, the sooner you'll be out of here. Who called you that day? I let you into a secret. You want that? Inspector Baker here has a reputation of always being right. He thinks you're involved in this murder. I want to prove him wrong. So help me. You don't look like your mate sucking any more luck than us. You still remain in sight, aren't you? Yeah, the old man's really trying. I can smell fear. And you smell so scared, boy. So scared. Now, who were you with that day? What's your relationship with Loveday Morgan? You didn't kill her. I know you didn't kill her. But your silence makes me think that maybe you did. Or you know who did. I got a level with you, boy. That phone call was from Loveday Morgan. We know that. We know that your alibi won't stand up in court. We know that there's something going on between you and her. Now, if you don't start telling the truth, we might have to charge you, and then you will have to talk. You nod your head if you understand me. Now, will you answer my questions? Is it true that Loveday Morgan rang you at 1.15 on Friday the 26th of June? I want a solicitor. Fancy seeing you.
Is English your first language, Gregson? Or are you just shy? What would you say if I was to tell you that your alibi is beginning to fall apart at the seams? And that cheap jacket you're wearing. The two men that were with you and Harry Slade, they talked. They say they never saw you after eight o'clock. But Harry Slade's girlfriend, well, it turns out she's got a record. So nobody will believe her. I just thought you'd like to know this. Now that leaves Harry Slade. And everybody knows what he does for a living. You should have chosen somebody more reliable. Although I doubt you know anybody who's really honest. Not even your mother. Well, I'm sorry. Let me get you another one. Thank you.